So everyone's been making fun of my Animal Crossing house because there are zero decorations inside of it, except for my money room. My money room is beautiful, but the rest of the house is completely barren of any form of decorations, and this needs to change. And I had a brilliant idea to decorate this house in the best way possible. Today we're going to be letting the internet decorate our Animal Crossing house, and it's going to be fantastic. They can literally do whatever they want. I'm going to be inviting people to the session. They're going to bring me a ton of decorations and whatever to decorate a specific room. Each member gets their own room in the house, and they get to do literally whatever they want with it. So we've got Corinne coming to our house. Now, I don't know what they're bringing. I don't know what the theme is, if there's a theme. This is going to be a complete surprise, and I do hope everybody enjoys today's video. Corinne has finally made it to our area with some kind of awesome outfit. And since Animal Crossing's multiplayer is literally the worst multiplayer ever made, um, she's got to drop all the items. I don't know what we got going on here, but she's going to drop everything that she's want me to decorate this room with. And then I've got to go place it in there and see what we're working with. Ooh, I saw a skull wall. Okay. Let's see here. Is this going to be some kind of like dark and spoopy room? She's going to be decorating our um, our second story of the house. So a rather large workspace. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Sweet. What was that? We got some candles. Okay. All right. Some candles. Looks like we're going for, for more of a serious theme here. At least it's not all bunny day stuff. All right. First off, let's see what theme we've got ourselves working here. So we got the... I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Uh, place horizontally. Okay, I like that. Then we've got a skull wall. All right, this is going to be a dark and spoopy room, isn't it? Okay. So we've got these hanging terrariums. Terrariums, candles, lots of candles, a plasma ball. What does that look like? Hold on, we got to see what this carpet looks like. Except I got all these money bags in the way. We got this really nice dark table. So let's see if we can put that plasma ball on top of it, maybe? I don't know how many other things we got. We're kind of just going to mess around with this until we get something that we like. Can we turn this bad boy on? Oh, yeah. All right. We got, like, those 15 billion candles. So if we can get a bunch of candles on this and kind of make it look like it's worshipping the, the, the ball. Oh, we got the throwback skull radio. <sighs> oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Hold on. We got we to gotta figure this out. No, no, no! Stop grabbing the table, you fool! So I'm slowly starting to figure out what to do with all of these candles. I'm just kind of putting them everywhere. I guess I've got like 20 more candles to put out. Ooh, we got a bird cage though. Oh, creepy bird. Got it. I'm pretty sure all these candles are a fire hazard. All right, so we got the uh, creepy room full of skulls, fortune telling things, cool little ball things, and then I surrounded the bird and candles. Like it's some kind of sacrificial creature. So this is member Tiny Bluebird on the channel. I have no idea. What's the first item? That's going to be... Is it going to be a western room? Ooh. What is an unglazed dish set? What are the... A frying pan? Is she making me a kitchen? Knife... I think it is a kitchen. I'm okay with this. I think I'll turn my train room area into the kitchen, so that should work pretty well. So let's see what, uh, we got the blue diner wall. Oh, nifty. I like that. And the green honeycomb tile. This is going to be our kitchen. It's a little fancy. So let's see what we got going on. We got the western style stone, which isn't for that. That was just a present. We got a broom and dust pan, an ironwood table. Let's place that bad boy. And see what it looks like. It looks like we got pretty much all ironwood furniture. And then we're going to have to put the gas ranges and all that stuff. So if we can put this... I think I want this wall to be the kitchen stuff. And then we can get like an eating area down here. Alright, not a bad start for the kitchen. It's looking really good. I needed a couple more places to put stuff on. And I added the, the stereo here, which... I guess I was hoping that I would be able to place more things on it. So I needed like maybe like one or two more little table things because I still have like um, like coffee cups and stuff that I could have placed in here. But otherwise, she must have been listening because I've been saying I wanted one of these furnace thingies for like ever. And now we have one. We got some like pots and pans up there. We got a dinner set with a 
uh, with a sink there. A nice knife set on that little dresser. We've got another fancy dinner set over here on that low table. And then we can play some tunes back here as well. So let's see here. Do we want what kind of music we got going on for uh, techno pop when we're cooking? I guess we'll have New Horizons in there. I need to get some more music. So, so far we've got a kitchen and like some kind of creepy bedroom area. We've got our third member here. I'm curious to see if we're going to start getting trolled yet. So they wanted to give me a koi and a snapping turtle for this room. So I have a feeling it's going to be some kind of like jungle-esque vibe. And unfortunately you can't give pets. we got a basket pack pack. An outdoor bath, a light bamboo rug. Okay, look at the turtle. Uh, I really want one of those turtles too. Well, thankfully we can get rid of this terrifying room now and start decorating it with what we got here. So we've got bamboo grove wall. Ooh. Oh God, it's so dark. Why is it so dark? There we go. I haven't seen that one before. That's pretty nifty. And then we've got the backyard lawn. All right, so we've got an inside or an outside on the inside which is pretty cool so far. We got light bamboo rugs. Okay. And some yucca. All right, I'm, I think I'm gonna like this room. I'm surprised I haven't been trolled yet. This room actually ended up being rather interesting. I actually kind of like it. We've got an extra bathtub just in case you don't want to take a bath in there. We've got a sturgeon and a koi fish. We got some hanging plants and some lights in here. What does it look like with the lights off? Oh ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 the mood is right in here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the brown chicken brown cow room now. Will Luna finally be our first troll? Ooh, we got ironwood stuff. Okay. Oil lamp. What do we got? A cute red wall? Man, we're getting lucky today. We got a waste bin. Interesting. Is a bed? Is, I think we're getting a bedroom. Not 100% sure. So we changed things up a little bit for the last two rooms. I had like a whole bunch of members come in and just drop off completely random things. And we're going to be decorating the rest of the house with just completely random stuff and seeing what we come up with. I have no idea what to expect, but I hope it's going to be interesting. All right, let's see what kind of craziness we can get into with all of this stuff. I think the paper that I put on here already is going to go in the basement since these... Oh, that's pretty. And then we've got rosewood flooring. Place horizontally. <laughs> okay, I can... Oh, that's so pretty. I can dig this. That's awesome. Now, the real question is, we got the basement, so let's go put something fancy in the basement. And by fancy, I mean completely dilapidated and ugly. Because we've got... Yeah, we've, we've got the old wallpaper and then the terracotta flooring. It's, a, it's a definitely a strange basement, so let's see what we can get down here. Pendulum clocks, Imperial Dining Lantern. Maybe that should go upstairs. We got jail bars. <laughs> Somebody, wait, are these the jail bars? No, these are my jail bars. Never mind. Oh my god. Okay, so those can get put away. We gotta figure this out. Looks like I've got some boxing stuff down here. I'm not exactly sure how this all gets pieced together. I think there's four total pieces that you have to collect. So you've got the red corner, the blue corner... And then the not corners. And I think somebody actually gave us all the pieces. Well, I think the basement came out okay. Somebody gave us all the pieces for the boxing ring. Then we got a couple punching bags, a nice high-end stereo. We got a pool in the basement, which is awesome. Some beach chairs, some regular chairs, some, uh, whatever that dude is. The old-fashioned throwback wrestler or whatever it is. Now we just gotta decorate the top. And we don't have really nice stuff for that. So we've got like this really, really nice room, but all I've got is like a ton of trash bags. <laughs> so we can make it look like we're still moving in, I suppose. We got a couple different chairs and things, but mostly just uh, trash bags. It's it's going to be great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, it's officially what happens when you let the internet decorate your house. I've got one just completely hammered booty room. We do have a foosball table, though, so that's pretty cool. But we also have, like, this random oil can. We did get a jukebox. We got some garbage bags, a nice ball. We got that big pink teddy bear. We did get a washing machine, so we can at least clean the towel that we're going to live on. So, I mean, all in all, 
I think this was fun. I had fun letting the members kind of decorate everything. Also, there's one room that I haven't shown off yet, and it's uh, right in here. So this room also has its own teddy bear, but we've got a butt fruit thing over here too. I don't... What, what does it do? I don't even know what this butt fruit thing does, but it is a butt fruit. But we've also got the bonsai tree next to the window, looks, which is pretty. We've got our hamster. We got a bed, so we don't have to sleep on the beach towel at least, so that's good. I just can't believe that we didn't end up with like five bathrooms filled with gnomes. I can't believe that didn't end up happening. But I do hope you all enjoyed the episode. I had fun with it. If you did, make sure to slap that like button. Don't let the internet decorate your house, ladies and gentlemen. You'll never know what you get.